Hello everyone, welcome to provide a solution given this nice square root radical problem which is the square root of a plus square root of negative a, this is equal to 4. So, so what is the value of a? Now if it is your first time you come across my videos, please like this video and subscribe. Now solution here, we have the square root of a plus the square root of negative a, this is basically equal to 4. Okay. So, let's take square root of a on the right hand side, so that we'll have the square root of negative a, this is equal to 4, subtract square root of a. Now from here, we square both signs, let's square both signs, so that we can eliminate the, the square root sign. So from here, we'll have negative a, this is equal to 4 subtract square root of a squared, which is in the form of a subtract b squared, which we can express as a squared subtract 2ab plus b squared, okay? So this is algebraic expression. Applying this identity, 4 subtract square root of a squared, this becomes, this is the same thing as 4 squared, this is 4 squared subtract 2 times 4 times square root of a, plus that is square root of a squared okay so from what we have here this is the same thing as negative a this is equal to 4 squared which is 16 subtract 4 times 2 which is 8 square root of a plus now here we simplify the square root sign so you'll have a okay so let's take let's take this positive a on the right hand side so we'll have negative a subtract a this is equal to 16 subtract 8 square root of a now negative a subtract a this is negative 2a which is equal to now this is 16 subtract 8 okay so we can we can express this as 2 into the parentheses 8 subtract 4 square root of a so if you say 8 times 2 this same as 16 negative 4 times 2 this is negative 8 now let's divide both signs by 2 so that now we'll have here negative a this is equal to 8 subtract 4 square root of a now from what we have here we can express this as we can take this negative 4 square root of so that we'll have 4 square root of a this is equal to 8 plus plus a so if you take negative a on the right hand side it becomes positive a okay so the next step is to square both signs let's square both signs so that now here this is this is 4 square root of a squared so the first thing is 4 squared which is 16 multiplied by square root of a squared this is the same thing as we remain the square root sign so this is 16 times a, this is equal to 8 plus a squared, okay? So this is in the form of a plus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Now the, applying this algebraic identity, we'll have 16 times a, this is equal to 8 squared plus 2 times 8 times a plus a squared so this is the same thing as 16 a this is equal to 8 squared this is 64 plus 16 a plus a okay this is a squared sorry this is a squared so that's from what we have here 16 a and 16 a simplifies so that what we have here is basically a squared this is the same thing as negative 64. Now, to calculate the value of a here, to calculate the value of a here, we just get the square root on both sides. So we'll have the square root of a squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 64. Now, we have the square root of a squared which is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 64. Now, 
we eliminate the square root sign so that a is equal to now here we have plus or minus now square root of we can express this basically as 64 times negative 1 so that this is equal to plus or minus square root of 64 this is 8 square root of negative 1 this is i okay so a is equal to plus or minus 8i okay so let's verify that these values of a actually satisfies the equation as follows now let's verify that the value of a which is equal to plus or minus 8i that is a1 is equal to 8i a2 is equal to negative 8i so let's verify that these two values actually satisfies the equation okay now if you recall we end that square root of a plus square root of negative a this is equal to to 4 now let's substitute a1 so that we'll have square root of 8i plus square root of negative 8i this is equal to 4 so the first thing to do here let's square both signs let's square both signs okay so that now now this is this is actually uh, in the form of a plus b squared which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab okay so applying this algebraic identity we find that in this case we'll have square root of 8i squared plus 2 times 2 times the square root of 8i multiplying by square root of negative 8i plus square root of negative 8i squared this is equal to 4 squared which is equal to 16 now if we square this we eliminate the square root sign so this is 8i plus now here we have 2 multiplying by we have the square root of 8i multiplying by square root of negative 8i now this is we have we subtract now this is neg negative square root of negative 8i squared so we eliminate the square root sign so this is positive times negative 8i which is negative 8i this is equal to 16. now 8i subtract 8i okay this one simplifies so now we have we have 2 times square root of 8i times square root of negative 8i so now what we have here we'll have 2 okay so this is square root of 8i times negative 8i this is the same thing as negative 64i squared this is equal to 16 okay and now we have 2 multiplying by now this is the square root of negative 64 i squared this is the same thing as negative 1 so let's substitute this so multiplied by negative 1 this is equal to 16 so here we'll have 2 multiplied by square root of negative 64 times negative this is square root of 64 this is equal to 16 now here square root of 64 is 8 so we'll have 2 times 8 this is equal to 16 okay so 8 times 2 this is equal to 16 and that shows that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and that affirms that the first value of a that is a1 which is 8i actually satisfies the equation okay so let's check for a2 let's check a2 which is negative 8i Let's check this one quickly. Now let's check a2, which is negative 8i, if this one actually satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we end that square root of a plus square root of negative a, this is equal to 4. Substituting a2, we'll have square root of, this is negative 8i plus square root of, this is negative times negative 8i, this is equal to 4 okay now this is square root of negative 8i plus square root of this is the same thing as 8i this is equal to 4 
So let's square boot signs. Let's square boot signs. So that now, square root of negative 8i plus square root of 8i squared. This is actually in the form of a plus b squared. This is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Okay. Let's apply this algebraic identity. We'll have square root of negative 8i squared plus 2 multiplied by square root of negative 8i multiplied by square root of 8i plus square root of 8i squared. This is equal to 4 squared, which is equal to 16. So here, we simply we remit the square root sign so that we'll have negative 8i plus, now here we have 2, square root of negative 8i. Let's multiply here, negative 8 times 8, so that we'll have negative 64. Then i times i, which is i squared, okay? Plus, now, we have square root of 8i squared. We simplify here. So this is basically 8i. This is equal to 16. Now, negative 8i plus 8i, this one simplifies, so that here we'll have 2 multiplied by, now this is the square root of, this is negative 64 times i squared, this is essentially equal to negative 1, okay? So here we'll have times negative 1, so that we'll have 2 times square root of 64, this should give us the value of 16, okay? Now, from what we have here, we have 2 times square root of 64. This should give us a value of 16. So, square root of 64 is 8, so we'll have 2 times 8, which is equal to 16. And it's true that this is the left-hand side is essentially equal to the right-hand side. And that affirms that A2 which is negative 8i, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and more importantly, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.